Hello guys, welcome to Houdini Made Simple. In this lesson, we're gonna be setting up the depth of field for our camera. We'll create a camera in Solaris, talk about some important concepts, and share some techniques to easily set up correctly the focus distance. Let's dive in. Okay guys, so in the last lesson, we finished creating the animation of the asteroids. They are moving slowly into the Earth. And in this lesson, we want to work on some camera effects. We want to create a more realistic look, more cinematic look, so we wanna work on the depth of field. So previously, we already created a camera here on the sub-level, but if we want to work on depth of field and create some camera effects, it's gonna be easier for us to, especially that we set up everything inside Solaris, to create a camera in Solaris. So we wanna go into the LobNet to access Solaris. Over here, we can go back and set to view this using Karma XPU. And now we have the result that we previously worked on the material and lighting. But so far we have everything in focus and we want to create some map of field so we can have some elements out of focus. And this is going to create a more realistic look, more cinematic look. So let's create a camera here inside the, the LOMNET inside Solaris. We're going to go to the tab menu, create camera, and we can create the camera right away. So now we can connect here the camera on the merge. And previously we import the camera using scene port here on the filter we select cameras. And that's why we can access the camera. Now, as you can see, we have uh, two cameras, the one we import previously and the camera we just created. If we go and select the camera we just created, it's gonna be a position on the, on the center of the universe. So we need to copy the values from the sub level. So we're going to go up to the sub level and get over here, go to the transform, right click, copy parameters, go back into Solaris. We're gonna uh, paste values and we're gonna do the same with the rotation, copy parameters, go back and paste values. Now we have the camera uh, set on the same spot. We just need to adjust the focal length. Now to adjust the focal length so we can see exactly the same we were seeing on the camera in SOPS, we're gonna need to match two values. It's gonna be the focal length and the aperture. In this case, the focal length is 50 and the aperture is 41. So we're gonna copy this value, go back into Solaris and in view, we have focal length, this is 50, same value, but on the aperture, we have a different value. So we are just gonna paste this value and this is gonna give us uh, the same framing in this case. Uh, we just need to adjust the aspect radio. In this case, we have 1920 by 960. So we need the same aspect ratio. So we're gonna go back into Solaris, select the camera, and here we have a different option. We don't have the how many pixels we have in the aspect ratio. So we're gonna go and select eight so we can match the same aspect ratio. And now we have roughly the same camera if we see one or the other. This should match pretty close. So now we have we have created a camera inside Solaris and this is gonna allow us to work way better when we are working on adjusting the depth of field. So once we finish matching the focal length, the aperture and the transform from the camera in SOP, we are just gonna go scroll down. And here on the background image, we are just gonna add the same image we use on the camera in SOP. So now everything looks the same. So now we are ready to start creating some depth of field so we get a nice and realistic cinematic look. So depth of field refers to the range of distance in scene that is gonna be sharp and in focus. So let's delete the old camera from SOP so we can just work with the camera from Solaris. So if we go here on the side, we have the camera and we have a range where we have all the objects. We're going to be blurring some of those objects based on the distance to the camera. So we have the camera on the left, we have all the objects and it could be that I want these objects in the middle in focus and all the rest out of focus or could be uh, the opposite. Could be that I want kind of the rock far from the camera to be in focus and all the objects close to the camera out of focus. 
So with the depth of field, we are going to control where is the plane, uh, where everything is going to be sharp and in focus, and also how blurry is going to be the rest of the objects. So if we go back to the camera and we go to the sampling tab, we have a few parameters over here. The parameters that are going to be controlling which part of the image are blur, meaning uh, are going to be controlling the depth of field, are going to be the focus distance and the f-stop. So basically the f-stop is going to be controlling how blurry the objects are going to be and the focus distance is going to control how far from the camera that plane with everything is sharp and focused is going to be. So let's start playing with this value so we can start setting up the depth of field, a nice depth of field. So in this case, I'm just going to start with the f-stop so I can start making things blurry. In this case, let's start with 0.5. And as you can see, everything now is out of focus. We don't want that. We want some stuff in focus, specifically the rocks here in the center, the, the, the first rocks. Uh, and here now the focus distance is at 5. That means that five meters from the camera, everything is going to be uh, in focus and we can start potentially moving this until we can guess uh, which distance is the, the right distance. Uh, for example, now this one close to the camera seems to be in focus, so we could potentially can start playing with this value until we get it right. But that's why we create the camera in Solaris, because there are better ways to do this. So what we can do in Karma is to use a viewport to select uh, the object we want to be in focus. So we are just going to use the viewport to set up the focus distance. It's going to be way easier than trying to guess in which distance we have a 100% focus. So we're going to go here, select the camera, select on the left the handles. And over here, we can read that uh, if we hit Shift F, and we can cycle through the focus plane rendering. So we're just going to hit Shift F, and now we can see the focus plane and holding shift and left click, we can set up where we want the focus plane to be. So basically holding shift and left click, we can tell Houdini where we want the focus to be. In this case could be the rock in the center of the frame or we can uh, click on another object. So depending where we click, the focus distance is going to be there and you can see on the right how the focus distance is changing depending which object we are clicking with the left click. So in my case, I want the focus on this rock in the center. So I'm just going to leave it there. Hit Shift F uh, twice to get off from the focus distance mode. And if you want to get back in, we can hit Shift F again. Once we set up the focus distance, we can uh, keep playing with the f-stop if we want things more or less blurry. In this case, I like the 0.5, but just to show an example, we can go down and this is going to make everything way more blurry if we move this slightly. So you can play this depending which, uh, which kind of look are you going for. In this case, I think this is too much. So I'm going to go back and set this to 0.5. I like kind of that, that look. I think it's too much otherwise. So I'm going to leave it as it is. So just to sum up, uh, basically the focus distance is going to be that plane where we have the objects in focus. So if we go back again to a side view, here you can see that here is a plane on the front of the rock where everything is going to be in full focus. And from here, close to the camera, all this object is going to be more blurry, uh, depending on the f-stop in this case. If we go lower with this value, it's going to be way more blurry. If we go a bit higher, it's going to be uh, out of focus, but not as much. And of course, the same is going to happen if you go further the other way. If we have more objects here, the further away they are from uh, the focus distance, this plane, the more out of focus is going to be. So uh, if we choose to set up, let's say, the focus distance in here in this front rock, all the rest is going to be out of focus. On the other hand, just be aware that depth of field is on by default in Karma. So if you want to turn on and off, you can go and create a Karma uh, render settings. I want to connect this to the material library, set the display flag on the Karma render settings, 
And over here in camera effects, we have by default enabled depth of field. So we go and we click this. We are just gonna see how we can turn on and off the depth of field in case you don't want to work with the depth of field. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps to support the channel. Thank you, guys. We'll see you on the next one.